In this tutorial, I wanna show you how you can connect your Mio XM to your Play Audio 12 using Ethernet. This allows you to create what I call a satellite setup so that your Mio XM can be many, many feet away from your Play Audio 12 and your Play Audio 12 can stay connected to your computer. So for the past few weeks, we've been walking through a few different setups using the Play Audio 12 and the Mio XM. Last week's tutorial, I showed you how to connect the Mio XM to your Play Audio 12 using USB. I think that's the best way if your interfaces are close to each other. But what if you're in what I call a satellite setup? What if you have your Play Audio 12 uh, on stage, maybe on the drum riser with your playback computer or off stage with your playback tech and the playback computer, but you have a Mio XM that's uh, 10 feet away, that's 100 feet away, that's maybe even, let's say, 300 feet away at front of house. How do you connect that Mio XM to your Play Audio 12? Well, the best way to do that is by using a Ethernet cable. And there's a couple different ways to do that. Um, we could connect an Ethernet cable directly between our interfaces. So uh, we could, for example, uh, go out of our Mio XM, so here's my Mio XM, and take my Ethernet cable and go directly into my Play Audio 12. Um, that's probably the, uh, the most straightforward connection. But what I've done in this case, I've got kind of a, a redneck uh, uh, graphic here that I'm gonna do to show you, is I have my Mio XM, I have my Play Audio 12, okay? And then I have my Mac Mini here, we'll call this Mini. And all of these are connected via Ethernet to a network switch, okay? What's nice about this is it's nothing fancy. Uh, this was like a, a $15 network switch that I got at Best Buy. Now with inflation, it's probably about $200, but uh, it's a super affordable network switch that you could get at basically anywhere. It's not managed, it doesn't provide PoE, it, it's just super straightforward, super simple. Okay, so I've got my Mio XM, my Play Audio 12 connected to my switch. Now, let's talk about how I got to my computer. Um, uh, actually Actually, you can look at this, ne neither of these are connected to my computer, at least at the moment. Now, when I actually go to um, uh, to set up my Play Audio 12, I will need a USB cable for audio, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to set up our MIDI connections here. Okay, uh, when it comes to uh, MIDI over Ethernet, particularly with the iConnectivity stuff, we're gonna be using what's called RTP MIDI, okay? That's why we're going to establish this. Um, what you're gonna need to make this happen is you need to download Oracle for X Series, which is the free control software from iConnectivity connectivity. Uh, this is the software that allows you to set up to configure and control your interfaces, okay? Now, uh, I've got Oracle for X-Series downloaded. Again, I'm connected to both of my uh, interfaces via Ethernet. Uh, this works for what I'm doing in this setup as a just, I just wanna say it just so that you hear it. When I actually go to use my Play Audio 12, I do have to connect USB to my computer, but we're not gonna pass audio for this. We're just setting up uh, MIDI for this example. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at what we need to do here. If we go to the Play Audio 12, go to our RTP network tab, what you're gonna see is we have four possible RTP connections. What this essentially means is there's four possible paths that we can send MIDI from our Play Audio 12 to our Mio XM or from our Mio XM to our Play Audio 12 for discrete paths. Now, um, that may sound limiting, but it's worth reminding you there's 16 MIDI channels. So if I send, uh, I could send 16 uh, channels down one path, 16 down another, 16 down another, 16 down another. So um, there's really endless possibilities here. It's very unlikely, I think, that you're gonna eat up every single one of these connections. But if you're kind of like me and you like trying to keep a separate path for a different instrument just to keep things straight, um, then you only have four possible connections between these devices. Again, another reason why if you're in close proximity to use USB. Okay, let's get on with it. So what I wanna do in this case is I want to set up uh, my Play Audio 12 to be what's called the initiator, okay? So it can either be uh, initiate the connection or respond to the connection. So if my Play Audio 12 is gonna be the initiator, then what I'm gonna do is go out of here, go to RTP, uh, and I want to go to my Mio XM. Now you can see this first one was set to initiator. We're gonna change this back to responder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the first four RTP connections for my Mio XM, and I'm gonna connect those to the four RTP ports on the Play Audio 12. This is insanely simple to do. Watch how simple and easy this is. So let's go to our first one here. I'm gonna take this name, I'm going to copy it, and we're gonna go back and we'll go to RTP Network MIDI here. We're gonna do Initiator. And then in this box, I'm gonna paste that name and hit Save, okay? So we're gonna wait a second and then you'll see that uh, connection is automatically established. Now let's go back here. Let's go to RTP Network MIDI. Let's grab our second one. Okay. It's worth noting, you could change the name of this. I know a lot of people do that just to make it a little easier to, uh, to follow and to see. I'm one of those really odd, weird people that likes to keep the default name just the way it is and keep the connection there, but you do you. If you want to change the name, you could change the name, okay? So let's go back here. RTP Network MIDI, RTP3. 
So again, we're gonna have four discrete connections between our Mio XM and our Play Audio 12. Let's go to this one, Initiator. All right, we're gonna hit Save. That's gonna establish a wait just a second so you can see it. And let's do our final one here. Okay, so we'll copy this. Oops, we're not gonna paste, we're gonna copy this. Okay, I know it was just 04, so let's paste this. 04, we're going to copy. Okay, now let's go back here. This is really easy just to, uh, if you're watching this, just to like copy and paste this instead of trying to remember what it is and type all this in from scratch. Okay, so you see what we have here is our four RTP connections, right? So um, Play Audio 12 1 through 4 is connected to Mio XM 1 through 4. I like that one-to-one -one kind of deal to where uh, everything's just really straightforward, really simple. Now, next I want to talk about MIDI routing, how we would view this and think about this from a MIDI routing perspective. But before I do that, I just want to uh, encourage you to consider subscribing. I post new content like this every single day, 10 a.m. Central, all about using Ableton Live on stage, all about creating a connected stage experience, uh, using gear like this for running tracks, for performing on stage. If you like content, like that, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon so you see when I go live. Okay, let's get back to it. So we've got our connections made here. Let's talk about MIDI routing. So let's say, again, we've got our Mio XM uh, a pretty far distance away. We want to go to MIDI routing. Let's say we connect something to DIN1 on our Mio XM. How do we send that connection, that input from DIN1 to, let's say, RTP1? Really straightforward, really simple. I'm gonna click on source, because what's my source? It's whatever's plugged into DIN1, so I'm gonna click that. Again, as a note, you could rename this here. I'm one of the odd people that likes to keep the defaults, but you do you, right? So we'll go to DIN1, we wanna send this to RTP1. Look, the default routing's already RTP1. If for some reason it wasn't, then I could click here and choose RTP1. So what that means is what I plugged into the DIN1 input will uh, go to RTP1 on my Mio XM, which will then go to RTP1 on my Play Audio 12, which is great. And then from there, I could pass that through USB to my computer. We've talked about that uh, in previous tutorials, which is which is super nice. Okay, same one, just default routing, RTP uh, DIN2 is RTP2, DIN3, RTP3. Uh, and default routing four to four. But let's say for some reason it was um, uh, the USB controller connected to host port five, right? Let's say we wanna make that RTP two. I would click here, click here to disable that. And that's gonna now uh, pass through MIDI from whatever's connected to my host port that I've reserved the host port for host port five that's now gonna pass through RTP2, which is great. Uh, let's think about it from the other perspective, okay? So uh, let's say what's our source? Our source is coming from, let's say RTP4. Okay, where do we want this to go? Right now it's going to DIN4. Let's say we want to send it to the, the USB controller that's connected to our host port and host port two. Then we select that and that means Play Audio 12 host port or Play Audio 12 RTP port four is gonna to go to Mio XM RTP port four, which is then going to go to host two to send MIDI to the USB controller that's connected to that controller. Now. What we just did here was a pretty complex thing, but you can see it was very, very simple to do. That's why I really enjoy the iConnectivity gear. That's why I enjoy working with Oracle for X-Series. It allows you to do really complex tasks very, very simply. Now, another thing that's gonna make complex things simple, again, is to subscribe to the From Studio to Stage YouTube channel. Every single day I post a brand new tutorial, 10 a.m. Central, it's completely free. All you've gotta do is hit the subscribe button and enable the bell icon. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody, bye.